Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing a new video for a new project pan mostly because I really felt like I needed some new products not projects, I can't even talk right some new products to play with so yeah, I decided to jump on board with the whole collection project pan um quick disclaimer this is not my whole collection <laughs> um i did recently move and i haven't unpacked everything yet and i've also separated some stuff from here where i'm staying at currently and some place where i'm storing stuff so well my mom's house i guess um so i don't have everything with me but i have everything that i want to finish up and pan in the near future with me so that being said I did write an inventory down on my computer and I do have a lot of things listed that I do want to use up yeah and I have a nice little Alex Smith drawer over there that's completely full of products so that being said um yeah I know no makeup nothing look at the bags under my eyes oh my gosh so bad anyway um <laughs> sorry real deal Anyway, so that being said, I just decided I really wanted to record a video and throw in some new makeup, so maybe it will get me more motivated to put on some more makeup. I haven't put on that much recently because I've been moving a lot, so, but now, you know, things change. Yeah, all kinds of exciting things are going on right now, so pretty cool. All right, um, so I was going to use... I don't have the pretty random app on my phone like everybody else. I was just going to use random.org. And I am going to do 10 products. I wasn't going to. I was only going to do 5 and just try to pan them. But you know how life goes. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to do as much as I can. And let me see. My spreadsheet's on this computer, so... Give me a second, let's see. Okay, so currently I have 404 products listed on my spreadsheet. Um, for palettes, eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that, and face palettes, I only have the palette listed. I didn't list each individual pan because I figured then I would just randomize what pan to use if I get a pan or a, pal a palette. Um, so yeah, so that's not including individual pans or anything like that. It's just the single item, whatever it is. Anyway, so. That's how many I have on there as of right now. I don't have everything in there yet, but I did just want to start playing with the stuff. So I thought I would just go ahead and start this project now, and then I can add stuff to it later. So I'm going to go ahead on the random organized, oh, random number generator and type in 1 out of 404. We get number 11. You guys can't see, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh, let's try number 112, number 251, circling. still circling. It doesn't like me. I think it's the Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm just going to tap generate again. Here we go. 
Well, three out three. That's number six. Um, number fifty-five. One, two, three, seven, eight. I need three more numbers, and this thing keeps going. Three sixty-two. One thirty nine. I only need one more. One forty seven. Those numbers are close together. That's okay though because I didn't put it so I could get the same palette. All right. Um. I'm gonna go pick out the products and show you guys what my lovely random numbers checked or checked. Oh my god, I can't talk today. Picked for me. There you go. I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, so now there's some random person outside playing Mexican music. So sorry about that. So if you hear it, um, yeah, it's not me. It's them. Hopefully it's not too overpowering. Um, okay, so I'm back. I picked out the products that associated with the random numbers that I drew. And then, again, anything is that has more than one pan, I'm going to go through and randomly select another number. So the first one actually is a palette, but it's a tiny palette. It's a little nine pan palette from Color Workshop. I don't know. can't really see the colors all that well on the camera, but it's not too terrible they're pretty light um it does have nine of them let's see take it out of the thing for you guys to show you you can see there's like two darker gray colors but other than that there's like a blue and all kinds of stuff anyway um so there's nine pounds so i'm gonna use my random random number generator on my phone <laughs> to generate just a random number that's the color that i'm gonna pan okay turning circling again it says number nine number nine is this pink color that is down in the corner um yeah I'm probably just gonna pop it out that was easy it's really flimsy packaging I bought this so, so long ago actually I didn't buy it my aunt bought this for me and she passed away a couple of years ago so there you go so that's my first product All right, the second one is number 112, and that was this Maybelline um, Cool Effect Twirls Cooling Cream Eye Color. That's what it looks like. It's a cream shadow, pretty much, and it's light purple. I'm going to have a lot of cream shadows in this project. Um, it's very, like, not... It's very creamy, not very pigmented, if that makes sense. So it's going to be very, very light. Um, we'll see what I do with it. I might end up actually using it as like a cream highlight if it doesn't work well on my eyes, but we'll see. Um, I also have a couple of other cream shadows. So, well, I have a lot of cream shadows that I'm panning, and then this one added like three more to that. So we'll see. But yeah. But for sure, I am going to use it, though, because no cheating, right? <laughs> um, okay, number 251 was this Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. And I know it's a huge palette full of blushes. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. Um, I don't know what color we're going to get yet, so... Oh, are they... Oh... Okay, they're not creams, they are regular blushes, which is kind of nice. Um, 
I don't know. I've heard good and bad things about beauty treats, so we'll find out, I guess. But in this palette, there are ten, so I am going to pick one to pan, and I'll probably end up trying to take it out. We'll see if that works or not. All right, so it's numbers one through ten. I'm going to go ahead and generate... waiting really so it's number two okay so number two is gonna be this one right here I mean, they don't have names or anything like that but there you go it's this one right here um, I feel like a blush is probably gonna take me a long time this one is a very bright pink color so hopefully it won't be too pigmented <laughs> But I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. But that's okay. Okay. So number two. I will have to pop that out. But we'll get there. Okay. Uh, next. Oh, for number 93. 93 was a lip product. It was this Sally Hansen Lip Prisms Lip Gloss. And this is perfect because the holographic thing is totally in right now. And that's what this lip is. It's a holographic gloss yeah it's also very very old so it'll be good that we're actually using this up hmm. kind of excited I hoarded these things I bought so many of them and then I don't know I, I was really bad whenever I was little I would just buy stuff and not do anything with it and then I just had like my set of makeup kind of like I do now but now I'm a little bit more experimenting Okay, um, so number, oh, number 20 was this ColourPop Jelly Match um, Cream Shadow in Bungalow. It's like a green color. These things dry up extremely fast, so I'm hoping that I can get a lot out of use out of it before it goes completely, but I'm probably going to try to add something to it to kind of help keep the moisture We'll see if that helps it or not. I don't know. Maybe like an oil or something. But this is perfect because the springtime is coming and it needs to be used. Um, number 303 was a hard candy moisturizer in doll face or moisturizing illuminator in doll face. It is a huge bottle. It's going to take me forever to get through this. Um, it's really, really pretty though. So, yeah. You can kind of see it's pretty pink and pretty bright. <laughs> um, very illuminating. Something to stick under. I don't know. I'm probably just going to put it all over and just kind of use it to light up my face a little bit. We'll see. Um, okay, after that we have... Oh, we have this Maybelline Cream Shadow Quad in Celestial Skies. It has four different colors in it um, for the sake of counting and trying to figure out which one to do because the back thing where it lines up at it actually lines up with the blue bean on top and we'll just go clockwise and see we'll put in numbers one through four and go ahead and generate and it said number one which is that blue right on the top Oh, that's good. I was afraid it was going to be like the pink or purple because I'm already panning a purple and a pink. <laughs> but the blue I can deal with. I can deal with that. Okay. Um, oh, it works out too because for another reason. Okay, so number 362 is this. It was from a Cinderella collection that they sold at Walgreens years and years ago. Um, they don't really have it anymore. It is an eyeliner, a glitter eyeliner. Mine is starting to break apart, but I did use almost half of it already in previous project pans, so there's not that much left. So I should be able to get through this. I know you can't really tell, but it's because it's all stuck on the sides and everything at the moment, but 
it's pretty it's getting down there so I'm kind of excited to use it and just to see if I can finish it yeah it's pretty it's pretty far down it's about like half a little probably lower than half right now anyway it's really pretty on the eyes whenever you put it on so kind of excited to use that especially because of how old it is so it's like we got to just use it and get it done okay and then the next one is this little flower eyeshadow duo um i'm gonna pick using random app because i don't want to do both uh, I might eventually, but I'm not going to do it right away. Uh, number two. Okay, so it's going to generate a number, and it said number one for number... Oh my god, this is so bad. There was no one or two on here. I don't even know why I did that. I'm just going to go with... I'm going to pan the lightest shade. Uh, maybe I'll pan... Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll pan the darker shade. I don't know, but I can't even get the thing out. Isn't that weird? The lid part there all right well that's what it looks like I don't know I don't even know like how to calculate which one would be one or two I think I was thinking I would go to light to dark so we'll just go ahead and do the light one why not all right uh yeah we'll do the light one why not okay so there's one there Oh, I just put the stupid thing back in. And then the last thing is number 174. And that is the Elf Gloss in Hope. This one, as you can kind of see, I already used it a lot. So there's not... There's a big chunk out of it. I mean, it's not perfect. But, you know, there's still a lot to go. <laughs> um, Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this project, before I was going to make a goal of just hitting pan on something, but I think I actually want to try to use up full products. So, that being said, um, it's going to take me a while before I update you guys again. I have no idea what I'll probably finish first. Actually, it will probably either be the eyeliner or this little eyeshadow, which will be nice because those are kind of gimmies. There are some big products in here, though, that I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how well this is going to work. But I did just want to do this project. I thought it sounded fun and exciting and just time to use up some stuff and just to be able to randomly select it like that's kind of fun, too. Anyway, so that's it. So next time you see me, there probably will be a lot more, well, another video for this. How about how about that? Next time you see another video for this particular project pan. Um, oh my gosh, sorry. My computer is slipping. Um, I forgot. Oh, there's going to be a lot more products than 404 because, again, I haven't put everything away yet. So once that happens, it's going to get kind of chaotic. But, um, yeah. Hopefully that will be sooner than later. Oh, why can't I open this gloss? I'm having issues tonight. All right, we got it. So weird. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm so excited. I have fun stuff to use now. All right, I'll talk to you guys later and see you in the next video.